Hi, Luton Lang One. Uh, my name is Mr. O'Mara. I'm going to be your English teacher for second quarter. I'm very excited to start this quarter with you and um, work towards getting some good skills and, and hopefully having some fun. So a little bit about me. Um, this is the be the beginning ish of my second year teaching at Moline High School. Um, obviously, it's a different year than last year was, but Hopefully you've gotten into the groove of things with blended learning, whether you're remote or an A schedule, B schedule, whatever, whatever schedule you follow, hopefully you've gotten into the swing of things um, and you're excited to start some new classes. I'm definitely excited to meet some new people and um, try some new things out with you and, and help you along the way. So I just wanted to film a quick video to introduce myself and kind of give you a few things to think about as far as what to expect for this class. So this class is gonna be 10 weeks long. Um, obviously this is the beginning and then we will end a little bit after winter break. So 10 weeks total, not including the breaks that we will have, but a little bit longer than first quarter. Um, some things to expect from this class, we're gonna be doing some SAT practice, um, so basically some reading comprehension and then answering questions based off what we read. So using evidence, uh, working on homophones. So words that are spelled differently and mean different things, but sound the same. Uh, we will read a couple short stories this term. So not very long, just a couple pages at most. And then um, you will also be reading a book of your choice on your own and then answering some questions about um, literary terms and other things related to English language arts based on a book that you choose to read on your own. So it's something that hopefully you're interested in. Um, the biggest skill that we will be working on this term is called a Melcon. So this is like a writing structure that we are going to be working on. Um, it's going to involve using quotes and citations to show where our quotes came from in our writing to help prove our point is right based off of something we find in the text. So we're really looking at evidence this term and how to prove that we are right. Um, so that's something that you can definitely expect. A couple other odds and ends. Um, due dates, everything is gonna be given out Monday morning, each week at 8 a.m. Um, a suggested schedule, that's what I like to call it, um, will also be issued at that time. And so that tells you if you wanna keep up with the people that are in class that day, this is the schedule to follow. If you want to evenly divide out your work for this week, follow this. Um, but everything is going to be due Sunday at midnight. So if something comes up where you can't do an assignment the day that it's suggested, then you just do it when you can, but you follow the order of the material. So you go in the right order regardless of if you're following the schedule or not but then everything's due Sunday. So it's super flexible for you and your family if, if things come up or you got extra responsibilities to be dealing with. Um, it worked really well last quarter and then many students told me that they really appreciated it. So I wanted to continue doing that. Um, late work, obviously with the flexible schedule and like the weekly deadline as opposed to daily deadlines, I hope late work is minimized this term. But if it does happen, we'll have a 25% off penalty if it's less than one week late and then a 50% penalty for anything over one week. Um, since everything is due Sunday night, technically, whether you're following the suggested schedule or not, um, I am gonna do my best to be posting grades and feedback for those assignments the Monday and Tuesday after that. So you can expect to see a big update in your grade every week around Monday and Tuesday. Um, other than that, please, please, please reach out to me anytime you have questions. I know it's 10 weeks and that sounds like a lot of time, but it's gonna go by really fast. So please don't wait. If something comes up and you have a question on it, let me know. Email me. My email is going to be all over Google Classroom and on assignments too. You can use the Google Classroom um, like chat function or the comments. You can message me in any way that you feel comfortable with, but please reach out 
And then we can always talk via a Google Meet as well if you feel more comfortable talking instead of typing. So you can ask for that in an email and then we can set something up. Uh, remote learners, we're going to have some Google Meets on Fridays that hopefully you will be showing up to so we can get to see each other a little bit and talk as well. But other than that, that's just a brief overview of the class. Um, I thought it'd be nice to put a name to the face as well, especially if you're not going to be coming to school. So if you need anything at all, please reach out. I'm happy to help. Um, I, like all your other teachers at, at the high school, want you to just have a great term and to do really well. So I want to do whatever I can to help. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day.